Hello guys. Welcome to Love is Vacation's YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Now, I want to give you information about 5 Top Rated Tourist Attractions in Paris Number 5 Musée d'Orsay This renowned collection of Impressionist art is one of Paris' top attractions. The museum is housed in an expansive space, formerly the Belle Epoque Era Gare d'Orsay railway station, and the collection represents the work of all the masters of Impressionism. The artists range from classic Impressionist masters Degas, Manet, Monet, and Renoir to post-Impressionist artists such as Bonnard, Cezanne, and Van Gogh, the Pointillists, Seurat, Signac, and Bohemian artists like toulouse lautrec Some of the museum's most memorable pieces include Claude Monet's The Magpie, Guerre saint Lazare, and Luncheon on the Grass and Renoir's Ball at Moulin de la Galette, which was painted in Montmartre. The Orsay Museum is the best place in Paris to get an overview of Impressionist art history from the gentle brush strokes of Monet to the wild, colorful scenes of Gauguin. The museum also features exhibits of decorative objects and photography as well as two cafes and an upscale restaurant that is worth the splurge. The restaurant was the former restaurant of the Hotel d'Orsay and is a listed historic monument with gilded ceilings and sparkling chandeliers. Number 4 Avenue des champs Elysees. A. The most monumental boulevard in Paris used to be a desolate field of marshland until the 16th century, when it was landscaped by Alain Oder. The champs Elysees is divided into two parts with the Rond Point des champs Elysees as its intersection. The lower part of the champs Elysees, bordering the Place du Concorde, includes a spacious park, the Jordan des champs Elysees, and the Petit Palais Fine Arts Museum. The upper part, extending to the Arc de Triomphe, is lined by luxury shops, hotels, restaurants, cafes, cinemas, and theaters. This bustling area draws many tourists and is a gathering place for Parisians. Number 3 Cathedral Notre Dame de Paris A triumph of Gothic architecture, the Notre Dame stands in the heart of Paris on the Ile de la Cite, an island in the Seine River, near the Latin Quarter. An island in the Seine River, the Ile de la Cite is the historical and geographical center of Paris. On this small plot of land, the Romans built the Gallo-Roman city of Lutetia, and from the 6th century to the 14th century the kings of France resided here. The Notre Dame Cathedral was founded in 1163 by King Louis IX, St. Louis, and Bishop Maurice de Sully, and the construction took more than 150 years. The cathedral was first created in early Gothic style, while later additions, the west front and the nave, show the transition to high Gothic style. Tourists are immediately struck by the ornamental design of the façade, with its profusion of sculptures, flying buttresses, and gargoyles. Look out for the 21 figures in the gallery of kings who lost their heads during the revolution. The heads are now on display in the Musée de Cluny. Number 2 Louvre Museum A sumptuous palace that was once the home of France's kings, the Louvre is now a marvelous museum of fine art. Visitors enter the museum in the courtyard of the palace at the Glass Pyramid, designed by Ming Pei in 1917. This Louvre museum possesses more than 30,000 works of art, from antiquities to medieval art and European painting of the 15th to 19th centuries. It is impossible to see it all in one visit, but tourists can focus on one particular gallery such as classical sculpture, Italian Renaissance art, or 17th century French paintings, or take a tour of the highlights. The museum's most famous piece is the Mona Lisa or La Gioconda, in French La Gioconde, painted by Leonardo da Vinci in 1503-1505. Other exceptional masterpieces are the ancient Venus de Milo sculpture, the monumental victory of Symmethrace of the Hellenistic period, the immense wedding feast at Cannes painting by Vernese, 1563, and Botticelli's frescoes. Also a must-see is Liberty Leading the People, 1831, by Eugène Delacroix, which depicts the violence of the Revolution of 1830. Number 1 Eiffel Tower This may be the most famous monument in the world and is certainly the most emblematic of Paris. It's hard to believe that the structure was dismissed as a monstrosity when it was first unveiled. The Eiffel Tower was designed by Alexander Gustave Eiffel and built for the Paris Exhibition of 1889, which marked the centenary of the French Revolution. The tower consists of 15,000 steel sections held together by 2.5 million rivets. This innovative structure is now considered a masterful architectural feat and is one of the top tourist attractions in Paris. From the Jordans du Trocadero and the lawns of the Champs de Mars, there is just the right distance from the Eiffel Tower for a great photo. The tower stands 307 meters tall. It was the world's tallest building until the Empire State Building was erected. Visitors can take an elevator or walk up the 360 steps to arrive at the first level, at 57 meters, and 344 more steps to the second level, at 115 meters. 
To reach the top level, at the dizzying elevation of 276 meters, take the exhilarating elevator ride from the second level. At the top, views of the Paris cityscape are truly stunning. For those interested in a gourmet meal, the restaurant Majules Vernes is on the second floor of the Eiffel Tower. This Michelin-starred restaurant features expansive windows that allow diners to enjoy the amazing views. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.